And the Vikings open as seven point favorites over the Bears at home. Can the Bears cover? No. Hey, it's that time for your DraftKings Fantasy Flash. I'm Tarolyn Azak. Ilya Kovalchuk has found a new home for the rest of the season. The former LA King will join the Montreal Canadiens on a low risk deal worth 700K. The 36 year old Russian's time in Los Angeles was underwhelming to say the least. After signing for three years and nearly $19 million in 2018, Kovalchuk had only 19 goals and 43 points in 81 games. The Canadians were desperate for help on the wing with guys like Jonathan Drouin and Brendan Gallagher on the shelf. They also find themselves on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoff picture. Kovalchuk might not help them make a push, but if he performs well, he'd be an interesting trade chip at the deadline. July 1st is coming in hot. Extreme weather is hitting the country, and severe storms rattled the Badger State here today. Thanks for watching. I'm Tarolyn Azak. We now go to meteorologist Samantha Kuffel with the latest update. Sam, what's in store for the rest of the day? Week 12 is upon us, and so is a big game between the Packers and 49ers. This is the Sunday Night Showdown presented by KFC. The president expressed frustration with the senator who made allegations about Jackson's improper conduct. ABC's Arlette Signs joins us in Washington. Give me your best pitch on why a fantasy player should draft you next season. Uh, I'll try my hardest every night. <laughs> you heard it here first. Alex Petrangelo of the Blues is 6,300, the top priced option. Do you like him or are there better options? Thanks, Sally. I'm here at Memorial Park in boaters and jet skiers. Well, they've been in and out of the water all day on this beautiful July 4th holiday, which makes for a very busy day for law enforcement. Tara Lanezak here, joined by DraftKings contributor Julian Edlo to break down this weekend's college football playoff games. Julian, let's start with the Peach Bowl. Four athletes will head to Seattle for the USA Games next month, so we're ready to get these athletes out here and see the games go down. Back to you in the studio, Phil. All right, then we've got the big main event on Wednesday. Someone we've had on the show quite a few times, Calvin Cater, battles Dan Ige in a featherweight contest. Cater is a heavy favorite at minus 335. Do you think he continues his rise through this featherweight rankings? I don't know if it's because of quarantine, but me, Stephen Reed, have taken our love for this show to the next level. Over on the DraftKings Sportsbook, you can participate in the Complete Free Pools Contest, which allow you to answer multiple choice questions about your favorite sports and TV shows, amongst other categories. 